Okay, uh, I couldn't be bothered going to look for any more um, KOs or anything that I may or may not. Let me just put the phone on charge. Give me one sec. There you go. Uh, I wasn't sure if there were any more KOs I have or haven't reviewed, and I couldn't be bothered looking. And then I went, hey, hang on, have I reviewed that, 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 that? Ah, come on. So we're going to get into, effectively, the weaponizers. But before we do that, we're going to do the last fossilizer that I own of the, the base models. That I haven't reviewed yet. And that is to say, Ractonite. Pretty sure I haven't reviewed Ractonite. Uh, so here it is. It, uh, it's not a Triceratops, because it should have the horns out here if it is. It's one of those things. Let's see if I can put up a, a thing like there. That means I've got to go and do research after this. But it's a dinosaur with a big horn thing and a tail and... It just looks like something out of Night, uh, night of the Museum. You know, what, what What am I supposed to tell you? Uh, size comparison. Legacy Wild Rider. So it's a uh, reasonable deluxe. Pretty reasonable. And I just... <sighs> See, Wingfinger, apart from the fact it was a gift from the most wonderful dark god himself, Belushius. And, by extension, Doom Bitch. I'm sure... Um, uh, he was quirky, he was interesting. This one is very cumbersome. Like, uh, the back legs have got universal joint, blah, blah, blah. Uh, they twist, because this just pegs on. It's got a hinge and ankle tilt, which is quite cool. The front legs, however, rotate a little bit. Forward a little and back quite a bit. We've got another hinge underneath, which is soft ratchet. And they've got this little peg. Because, you know, it needs to be hidden somewhere. Uh, tail up, down, you know, slight hinge there. Slight wiggle in the hips. It's all in the hips. Is that too soon because he died not long ago? Whatever, it's fine. And you can rotate this bit because it's pegged on. Uh, initially, when I got this out of the packaging, I didn't realise this was supposed to be there. I thought the tail just ended like that. And I'm like, well, that doesn't look right. Looked at some pictures. Yeah, this was in the paper in the packaging. I had to go and get the box out of the bin. So, <laughs> that's because I'm smart. Head rotates because it's on. It pegs on. Uh, like that. It's got a hinge there. And the mouth opens, raw, and it's got a peg inside, so you can pretend that's a big pew pew, and you go, ha ha, pew pew gun. It's up to your own head can. It's up to you. And it's a Predacon because it's got that little symbol there. Now, I might sound like I'm rushing, and I kind of am, because A, this isn't my favourite figure in the world. Don't hate it, but it's not my favourite figure in the world. And B, do I have to start doing the whole... Combine it with other things rubbish. Do you want to see that? Because I'm not the world's biggest fan of doing it. I, if I'm honest. And that's why I've, I've put off these uh, weaponizers. Because I've got what? Uh, Ironworks. Slammer. Cog. And I've got six guns somewhere. But this will do the two weeks. So I'm good. I'm good with these so far. Uh, just... Yeah, all right. Should we go for the robot mode? Okay, robot mode. What you need to do is rip the head off and put it down. Rip these off and put them down. And then we rip this off and put that down. And we rip the tail off and put it down. And then we pull the actual hips, you know, this section, away from the hip bones. I think hip bones, is that what they're called? Whatever. Okay, so we're going to work from here. We're going to straighten these up. These are the legs and the waist. Okay. Now we get this big ginormo bit. And it was, the head was here, and the legs came off here, and all that stuff. Well, we're going to turn that around. Lift it up. And where the head was, we'll connect this. And that's the head. We'll do the dramatic face reveal later. Now we need to fold this up. How does it work? Yeah, that. Yeah. Fold it up like this. So, come on. 
there's this sort of half peg here it needs to go where these tabbed in uh pegged in rather so that goes sort of in there it's not the strongest joint but it goes in that connects here okay pretty sure that's how it goes this connects here i think yeah i think that's right we then open this up flip up the little mouth gun peg have that one there these bits so this would be the what right front leg turn it around plug it on there and extend the little peg bit this one plug it into the mouth extend a little peg bit and straighten out a little bit and this is the base robot with dramatic head reveal <sighs> come on man and he looks all right you know he looks interesting he's different you know the asymmetrical shoulders you know the arm coming out of the mouth uh, there are other ways of doing this, but this, I believe, is the official one. Like, I believe people do, um, they shove this through the bottom of the mouth, I believe it will go. Yeah, they, they shove that peg out there, and they do it that way, I think. Yeah, plug that on there. And you're welcome to do that if you like, but I'm pretty sure the packaging said to do it the way I was doing, so... Shove that back in there. I don't think that likes going through there either, so... And this is fundamentally what I don't like about these mix-and-match build-your-own stuff. Like, I'm not a two-year-old, I'm not a ten-year-old, you know, going, oh yeah, but I can do it that way, and now he's got flamethrower, and I can do it this way, and now he can bite people with it, and blah blah... It's not necessarily my thing. I'm a little bit old for it. You get the tail bit and you can just sort of plug it on the end here. Can you see this? If you can see that, that's my breath. It's cold at the minute. And now he's got a sword on this arm. And you can kind of pretend that's a gun, if you like. You pretend these are guns. It, it's all up to you, really. And he looks like that. And again, he's weird. He's kind of like a zombie background character more than some kid's favourite figure. Because would he be? There's a legacy drag strip. So he's a good size. Don't get me wrong. He's a reasonably good size. But then, like... Then you can turn him into the weapons and stuff. And let's, let's, let's just do some of the other stuff you can do with him. So we'll plug that in there. We'll have it around. We'll plug that there. And now you can have a big chompy dino hand. And if you want, you can swap these bits around. And now you can have an extendo stabby arm. Yeah, now he's got more range on it. These are things you can do. Um, I'm not sure how well this is going to work. But you can you can do that if you want. Does that fit in there very well? Not very well, but you know the thing I remember from the the packaging. I think you're supposed to take this, fold up his face. Give me all this. I'm just going to give you an example. I'm not going to do all of them. You're supposed to do this. Uh, flip out the peg in the top of his head. You get it like this, and then you're supposed to steal the horns off the top here, plug them into where the arms go. And now you've got a mace for a figure, a big smashing hammer. He's a weird one. Uh, if anyone wants me to do more of these little combinations and things you can do with them and stuff, I, I can do that. It's just, if I do it in the review, it's going to be like an hour long. Yeah. And does anyone want that? I'm pretty sure no one does. That's why I kind of put these things off so long. You know, because no one wants to see me just messing around, pretending to do things, which, let's face it, other people who are better at this stuff have already done on, you know, Instagram and all the rest of it about two years ago. That's why I don't do it. But, again, 
he's it's one of those things i suppose it's as only as much as your imagination will limit you and this guy doesn't exactly tickle my pickle like imagination wise so i'm <gasps> that really hurt ow anyway uh so it's like my nail got broken up sorry ah oh, that really hurt um uh, really really hurt uh, anyway uh <laughs> i gotta do another review after this at least one. Oh dear but again i don't think he's bad i think it's just you know he is what you make of him um i did like the look of master dominus or whatever it is because i i really wanted lead foot more than anything which is this but they turned him into a mammoth so the skull was different stuff like that that might be cool but We'll see what happens. I don't own him. So I might, if anyone's interested, do a review where I'll get him, Wing Finger, and Paleo Trex, and I'll try and do the, the combiner thing, because I'm not very good at it. We'll, we'll see how we get on. And I don't know. It, these aren't necessarily my cup of tea, which is why doing the other weaponizery guys, yeah. I'm not looking forward to doing these reviews, just so you know. But we'll see how we get on. And again... He's cool, but I guess I only really got him to be part of the set and so I could combine him and stuff, which him on his own, he's not exactly the standout character. Paleotrex is still the best, in my opinion. The fact he can just rip one of his arms off and start beating you with it. Cool, cool. He hasn't even really got proper hands. That kind of goes against him. I'm going to stop dribbling. I'm going to scarf it. So, I should be ugly. I should wretched, and I shall see all of you in the next one. Toodle pip.